How's it going YouTube? Donald Pink Ranger Jets coming to you from Masawa, Japan today. A very frosty Masawa, Japan. How you guys doing? Happy New Year's in 2016 and all that good stuff. I've been away for a while. I know I don't post as frequently as a lot of you guys would like, but a lot of things in the background. The biggest two reasons is right behind me. Uh, one is the uh, DR30. A lot of you guys know I've had this car for about four years and didn't I didn't register it. Had, a, had some little issues, had to fix. But finally after four years, and like the more so the last four weeks of uh, getting everything squared away, finally passed uh, the JCI here, which is Washakin, which is a biannual inspection uh, that we had to go through for safety and all that stuff. So passed that finally. So I'm driving a 1983 DR30 RSX uh, Turbo Skyline now. I sold my R32 a little while ago. Just kind of got tired of seeing those. Uh, so it feels great to finally drive this car to four years of owning it. And uh, the older guys here in Japan, every time you see it, uh, they definitely have a flashback to when they were young because it's 32 years old. Also, I mean, the biggest thing a lot of you guys have seen on Facebook, Instagram, is a shop right here behind me. And uh, I picked the shop up uh, last week. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go on a little tour right now because I know you guys got a lot of time for me to sit here and talk. So let's go on a tour real quick. The front of the shop, as you can see, guys, here is the uh, pretty much a uh, two-door split uh, split door garage here. Coming up on it, so let's uh, go ahead and walk inside. Just got this, just got everything, so just moved everything in uh, last week. Um, so what you see right now is not what, not what's going to how it's going to be in say about six months time. So pretty much plan on adding a car, a car lift like right over here uh, where the reinforced ground is. So let's just walk over here and see all the stuff we have here now. Pretty much all the stuff. If you guys remember, we're working on a one car garage. This is all the stuff that I had in a one car garage. Um, <laughs> it's amazing that I got all the stuff to fit inside a one car garage, but pretty much um, what I plan on doing is having right here for the, uh, the 220 volt drop. I have my fabrication si uh, system set up over here. See the welders, the uh, cutters, grinders, and all that stuff like that. Um, going to get a bigger air compressor in there to run this shop. So that's just all the stuff. I had. All the stuff again is from the one car garage. So over here, I'll, I'll get some new tool, new tool cases, things like that. But pretty much this section right here. It's going to be where all the tools are going to live. So I'm going to have all the stuff back here. Up here, it's just going to be where all the car work and all the magic is going to happen right here. Where we're walking at right now is pretty much the going to be the showroom. So my cash register will be like right here when I'm ringing you up to take all your money, things like that. So I'm pretty much going to build a showcase inside of here and uh, put some other cool stuff in here and make it look like, you know, not trying to resemble any other car shop. Uh, that's around but pretty much a standard car shop going to cover these wooden walls up things like that so this is pretty much uh the showroom and if you come here and you're hungry they actually has like a little kitchen in here so i'll clean all this stuff up and uh have like you know a sink in here i can make food or whatever but uh you know i don't plan on living here but i will be here a lot uh, sorry i'm going real fast and i'm on my lunch break right now so i got to get back to work my other job <laughs> so uh going back out towards the back if you come here and visit, got a cool little bathroom. So you can go in here and do whatever you gotta do. Use the bathroom. Any racer, drifter, drag racer, blah, blah, blah. Everybody has parts. So here's my parts room. All my spare parts, as you can see up there, subframes, clutches, turbos, arms, arms. You got a 2J, a RB25, a RB20, another 25. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. This is the S15 core. That's going to go ahead and go on the R33 for the S15 for an R33 LS1. And a bunch of other stuff, transmission, subframes, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much this is where I'm going to keep all of my uh, my parts at. So not much, I mean, really going on in here, but it's good to have all your parts organized and stored and not falling all of them like I was in, on base with my own base storage. So heading out back towards the back part of the shop. All right, this is pretty much... Uh, I guess as you can see right here, the, part, the company that I'm renting from is actually an electro, electrical company as you can see from the wire barrels and the uh, light poles. Uh, they run they run electrical stuff out there. So pretty much uh, as you can see, I can get to the front of my shop this way. So I plan on removing this kerosene uh, tank so I can push engines and things back here. But um, what I plan on doing is about uh, where I'm standing from the shed right here, there's a uh, probably about maybe, uh, I would say about a good 30, 40 feet. So I plan on doing right here, like in the middle, is adding a, uh, I'm gonna build, we're gonna construct a uh, paint booth so I can have a full up paint booth finally and not paint the car and the elements and getting the crappy damn paint jobs. A lot of decent space uh, up from the one car garages I've broken out of the last uh, 
the last, you know, I've been working on one car garage since I've been here in Japan. That's the small tortoise shop again. Sorry for the rush. I actually, I'm still working on base at my at my day job, and uh, I got to get back there. I'm on lunch break right now. But um, I did all that talking and didn't even tell you guys the name of the shop. The name of the shop is going to be Pink Goose Style. And uh, the building behind me, of course, like I said, is brown color. But uh, when it gets a little, little hot outside, that color is going to change ASAP. Brown is not my style and uh, definitely going to change. I actually hooked up with a uh, buddy, Angelo, down at uh, Yokota. And he had uh, Toshiki uh, Yoshioka's old uh, D1 FD USA Hachiroku. And uh, he was selling the shell. A lot of guys, you, a lot of guys who've been in Red Fowl and Drifter for a long time, uh, definitely know, you know, know, knows about that car. It's an iconic car. And for the price he's selling it for, I couldn't pass it up, so I picked up that shell. And um, I'm going to be building the Hachiroku, building it back up, and uh, I'll kind of just like not, you know, not at all on the uh, on the stove, so to speak. Uh, first thing first is getting the shop up and running taking care of all the business stuff and uh, like legality things. And then after I get that clear, of course, I got the baby coming in a few months. And then also after that, you know, I got to get the, uh, I'm going to get the LS1 uh, R33 up and running. So after I clear the clear the projects that are on the table right, right now, I'll probably get on that. So I'll probably won't get to the Hachiroko until probably about next winter or something like that. But again, I just bought it and uh, I'll uh, store it until I'm ready to work on it. Uh, so that's pretty much everything that's been going on for the last like four or five weeks almost. Like I said, I've been mission in action. So uh, again, I hope you guys, 2016 is going uh, good so far. I hope the cars are ready for the competition season. I won't be competing in much this season, you know, naturally because they have a lot going on. Uh, so I'll probably be doing local events at that. So again, um, uh, enjoy your holidays, you be safe and uh, you know, work, work towards the goals that you want to do. Like, you know, don't let anybody tear you down. And if they do, you know, take that criticism, use it as uh, energy and fuel, and just move on. And uh, you can, I mean, I know it sounds corny, but if you really want to accomplish something or you really want to do something, just work every day towards it, and I trust you, it'll, it'll come true. I've been doing this 19 years, and I never thought I'd be living in Japan, running my own shop, and a lot of the stuff I'm doing right now. So definitely uh, set your set your course and set your day towards uh, what you want to do, and, and seriously, it'll, it'll happen. It won't be overnight, but it'll happen. Sorry, I got airplanes flying around, but uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to go on Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff. Definitely go ahead and like, subscribe, and all that stuff for, for updates and sales and things like that. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later. Pink Ridge off from Japan.